So if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, then you're probably seeing this or this. And if you're brand new to DaVinci Resolve, but don't worry. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this media offline error so then you can get back to editing. Okay, so here is the problem. Whenever you open up your project, you see this. You see media offline. And if you are brand new to this, you'll be really freaked out by seeing this. And then you'll probably also see something like this where it's flashing. And the reason why this happens is for a variety of reasons. It could be codec issues. It could be issues whenever you're importing projects. It could be frame rate issues. And it could be just things that you cannot predict. You know, there could be bugs with the program. But the one main reason why this occurs is because DaVinci Resolve cannot find the clip or doesn't see the clip in the location that it was in originally. And that's what we're going to be focusing on fixing today. So right now I currently have three clips with this media offline error. And right now I have it in a dual view mode. So on the left side is a preview of any clips that I select. And then on the right side is my project timeline. So if I move this around, it's actually going to show it here. And so typically the reason why you get this error is because the location that DaVinci Resolve thinks it's in, it's not able to find a file. So if I actually play this, you'll notice that the media offline is flashing. And in some cases, the file is actually there, but for some reason, DaVinci Resolve thinks that it isn't. And so where do you actually find out what location it's looking for? So there are a number of ways that you could find this out. The first way is you could select the clip and then right click on your mouse and then go to open file location. And in this case, DaVinci Resolve is able to find media. So it's looking in this specific directory. And then another way is you could go up here to metadata and then it'll tell you the directory that it thinks this file is in. And so once you determine that, there are some ways that you could actually relink it or tell it this is the location that this file is in. And so the first way that we could fix this is make sure this clip is selected. Then you right click on your mouse and then you could go to relink selected clips. So if you choose this, you could go to the directory that it's in. So in this case, I've actually moved this to another directory right here. So it'll look for the file in this specific folder. And if you select the folder, it's found because that's actually where I moved it. So I actually have this folder right here and that's actually where I moved the file where my original folder is right here. So as you can see, it actually found the clip and now that Mito file error is no longer there and everything looks fine whenever you do the relinking select the clip. So the second way in which you could fix this is you could change the source folder. It's pretty much the same thing as relinking a selected file. So we'll right click on the mouse, go to change source folder, and you'll see this is the current source folder. So we want to change it from to the new folder. So we'll browse and I have this new location folder. I'll say open, then change. And there it is. You could actually see the file. And if you play it, you won't get that media not found error. Whereas the other ones are still having that issue, the media offline error, whereas this one does it. And if you want to check and make sure it's now in the right location, you could always go up here to your metadata and you'll see that it's now seeing it in the new location. And sometimes this entire thumbnail, it still has it wrong. So you might either have to refresh things or restart it. But the most important thing is it's no longer giving you the error here and also the location properties, it's going to the right place. So that's actually the second way in which you actually fix this problem. And so another way that you could fix this is say, for example, you had multiple clips in your project that have the same media offline error. So instead of going to each clip individually, you could select multiple clips. So in windows, you simply hold down the control key, then you select the clips that you want to fix this. And then you right click on your mouse and either choose the relink select the clips or change source folder. And if you wanted to do this for all your clips, you could go here and do control A, it will select all your clips. And then you could do the same thing, relink or change source folder. And that will go ahead and fix this issue for multiple clips at the same time. For professional virtual business locations, check out Anytime Mailbox with more than 1300 locations worldwide at affordable rates. For more information, 
check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the final way to fix this is in my opinion, the easiest way, because it does tell you how many clips have this error. And it also tells you which folder that it's looking for these files. And so if you actually go up here to the top left, you see this thing called relink media. And if I click on this, it's going to tell me exactly how many clips are missing and also the location that it was looking for. So here you could easily go to locate and you could choose the folder that you want, or you could choose a disk search, which is going to be a lot deeper and more comprehensive, but it's also going to take a lot longer. So in this case, if I choose locate and I go to the folder that I think it's in, or I know I moved it to, and then I go ahead and select folder. It now fixes everything all at once and you'll no longer have this red symbol where it says relink media. And that's another thing that it does is it actually tells you uh, with this red color, whether or not you need to relink the media in your projects. So that's how you would fix this media offline error. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, this could happen for a number of reasons, but more often than not, it's because the files are no longer in that location, or maybe DaVinci Resolve just has some type of error. And even though your files are in that location, it doesn't see it. So you would simply have to relink it or tell it it's in this folder again. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see another video that I did, but about proxy generators, I will leave a link to it in the description area below, or you could go ahead and click on the thumbnail to watch that video.